Two local supermarket giants announcing a proposed merger today. We're talking about Kroger, which owns Smith's. It's set to buy Albertsons in a multi-billion dollar deal. And right now, there are 38 Smith's and 21 Albertsons or Vaughn stores all across the valley. So what does that mean for us locally? Sasha Loftus explains. Shoppers we spoke with here at Albertsons and at Smith's are split on this decision. Some think it could be a good thing, while others are worried it could make prices go even higher as we already deal with inflation here locally. Every month it's a little bit more and more. Keeping up with rising grocery prices. Instead of buying K-cup coffees, I buy instant coffee. You just, you gotta adjust. Shoppers in Southern Nevada say it's been a struggle to make ends meet as inflation and supply chain issues lead to bigger bills. When you're looking at $125 every time you shop. Now, more changes could be coming. Kroger, the company that owns Smith's, announced a potential merger Friday, buying Albertson stock in an estimated $24.6 billion deal. Whenever there are mergers and acquisitions with uh, large corporations, you're always concerned about the price. Economic expert Shondell Newsom says this might leave room for a monopoly. Sometimes what happens is um, prices uh, go through the roof because of lack of competition. But others say they have to hope for the best. Trying to raise two kids and the prices are up, you, you know, it costs money. You know, nothing's cheap nowadays. And look forward to any new opportunities. It'll help, trust me. As for locations here, like Tropicana and Jones, there's an Albertsons in this parking lot and a Smith's right across the street. Now, if this merger were to happen, it looks like the company could sell off some of these stores to prevent overlap. Reporting near Tropicana and Jones tonight, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.